Hey guys, I was going through some of my truck stuff here and it's coming across some stuff I saw the other day and it is some electric furnace stuff. Now, this stuff gets burned up all the time. I'm grabbing a screwdriver while I'm talking to you. It gets burnt up all the time. Some common issues I see is the main breakers, which is our 70 right here. This is a Cutler hammer. And this is the distribution block in the furnace where you can see these two lugs right here. The main two wires are going to this block and it's distributed to two other breakers. Now I don't have the two other breakers on me right now, but you can see the damage right there. They just fit together like this and like this onto these points here. You can see one of them is pretty damaged. So what I do, you can see the how charred and it's so brittle. It's a really common problem with these things is electrical failures. And you can rewire them. Sometimes they get to a point where you just feel safer replacing it. But you can see in here, this point distributes to, let's say, one and three. This point goes underneath and distributes to two and four. You can see how black this one is. It was heating up quite a bit on this bottom breaker. Back to the panel. This is the main 70 amp. This is a, let's see if I can remember. It's like an E2H2 or something like that. I don't remember exactly. But that was the furnace it was. It was a 12 kW. So a 12 kilowatt furnace. That's why it has a 70 amp breaker. A uh, 10 kilowatt would probably have a 60 amp. And then the 15 kilowatt has a 90 amp. So it heats up quite a bit. As you can see here, it is toasty and burnt. BR270. What I did in the meantime is I had to replace some of these electrical components and go down to one breaker, the one that was on the top side here, and I abandoned this one and I ran about half of the heat load so the guy would have some heat. So basically it's pulling 26 amps right now. There's a BR260 in there right now. The electrician has probably already replaced that and I'm heading back after my parts get in which is going to be this piece here which is our single point, point connection and the two breakers that come off of it, I just wanted to be safe and replace those as well. Because you can look in these furnaces, you can see all the new stake-ons from where people have rewired it over the years. And a lot of times people will wire them wrong. So I had to rewire it myself. I had a contactor instead of a sequencer. And it's a little bit different. And I had to, you know, wire in the door switch, which turns the blower from auto to on as well. So maybe we'll get some more footage of that. But just want to show you a few typical electrical failures. I've seen this one over and over again distribution box, the breakers inside, burned off wires is one of the number one things you're going to be looking for with an electric furnace.